What's up? This is Alex Chu. Coming at you with another episode. Oh, in this episode, I want to I want to talk about a prophetic dream I had. I don't think yeah, Trump is not going to win the 2020. Okay, but based on this prophetic dream, not just one dream, actually several dreams. But I want to maybe compose it together and tell you what I think the result is. Okay. But before I talk about my prophetic dreams, uh, I want to tell you my name is. Uh, Sorry, I, I had a little cold last night. Uh, my name is Alex Chu. I'm the guy who invented the physical immortality rings. These are rings that you put on your small finger string to sleep. You wear them, you don't age anymore. For example, I'm already 48, you know, and uh, yeah, in in a year and a, in, in a year and a half, I'll be 50 year old. You know, I I look just as good as that Trondo Tan guy from uh, Singapore. Yeah, that that motherfucker. He he. You know, I bet you he's using my technology. You know. Yeah, but anyway, if you want to stay physically young forever, you go to livemuchlonger.com, livemuchlonger.com, buy a pair of these rings, okay? They're like 25 bucks, you know? Keep, you stay physically young forever, okay? Um, yeah, I had several dreams. Uh, well, I think I got this dream last night, or two days ago. What happened is, uh, I saw, uh, or it's like, while driving, okay, while driving, I forgot, it was like, I sort of for, forgot the fine detail, but we're, we're all driving, right, and we're driving into this mountain, it's like, sort of like a cave, you ever seen the, the Giza, the, the big pyramid of Giza in, in uh, Egypt, I'm talking about the pyramid, right, and it's like inside, there's a tunnel that goes into the pyramid, and it, it's like, and it's split into like three ways, you know, like, there's like you, if you go all the way up, there's gonna be a king's chamber, a queen's chamber, and then there's like an underground tunnel. And we're we're driving cars into this mountain. It's sort of like a tunnel inside a mountain. Okay, it's it, it's it's a mountain, but it reminded me of that Giza pyramid. I mean, I I it reminded me after I woke up from the dream. You understand? It when I was dreaming, no. It wasn't no Giza pyramid, nothing. It was just like the tunnel inside the mountain. We're driving, right? Uh, it's like I was counting what I was driving, okay? And then at the fourth, at the fourth stop, we went the other way. I'm like, wait a minute, we're supposed to drive straight. But then when we went the other way. And then, there, and then we drove, and then there's a dead end. And then we got off our car, and then the guy was all speaking to me. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, you know, we, we only made four stops. There's supposed to be seven stops, okay, it, uh, in total of seven stops. Right now, we, we only made four stops, and then we drove to this dead end. So you have to figure out a way how to get the other three three stops. You have to, you, you understand, it's like, I don't know, bus bus stops or something? It's like, there's like one stop, two two stops, three stops, four stops. We only drove like four stops, and then immediately the the our cars, okay, our entourage drove the other way. And then the guy said, "Okay, we're at this dead end. You have to find somehow an, another way to get the other three stops, okay." And I woke up from that dream, and then that dream reminded me of other dreams that I had. You understand? And uh, they all they all the same. It's like. There's seven and there's three. Seven. I mean, no, no. There's four and then there's three. I had another dream. It's like a guy's trying to sell me two cars, two Rolls Royces, and then uh, you know, I, I negotiate with him. I said I'll pay three thousand. It's a Mexican guy selling me two Rolls Royces, right? I said uh, I'll pay three thousand dollar for this one, and he said, "What? You, you want to pay three thousand dollar for both of them?" <coughs> and I was thinking, oh yeah, maybe he heard me wrong. I said only, I said I want to pay three thousand for one car, but he heard, he heard wrong. You know, he he thought it was three thousand dollars for both cars. So I was thinking, yeah, I want to, yeah, I'm just gonna answer yes to see his reaction. I said yes, and then he turned around. He said, no way. He walked away, and I was I was about to walk away too, but then immediately he pulled me back. He said, hey, I'll sell you this one car for three hundred dollars. But anyway, that that car, uh, forget it. That that interpretation is very difficult for mo most people. 
And then I also had this vision. I also had this very short dream that I saw this woman winning, becoming the next president. Okay. So my conclusion is this: I know Trump is going to invade North Korea next year, year two thousand twenty. Okay. If you watch my previous videos, I made videos like two years ago, telling, foretelling that uh, Trump is going to invade North Korea in two in two thousand twenty. Looks like it's coming true. See, just a week ago, North Korea was firing missiles, right? And the United States also seized one of their ships. One of the, it's like a huge cargo ship. They seized it from Indonesia. It was a North Korean ship. Um, I think they're going to invade North Korea in 2020. Like, after he invaded North Korea, there's going to be election. And Trump is going to lose that election. A, a woman is going to win. I believe it's Cam Camilla Harris. You know? Because in several of my dreams, I saw a woman winning, and she looked like... The dream tells me that she's Hispanic, you know? Like a Spanish woman, Hispanic or something, you know? So, and I think what happened is he's going to... Trump is going to fight for it. Trump is going to... For three years, he's going to rebel. So Trump will start a civil war, you know? To... I don't know, to... Yeah, there's going to be three years of civil war. Trump is going to lose the election, but he's going to... Yeah, he's not going to... Uh, there's not going to be a easy transition of power. He's going to fight fight this uh, election. You know. So... Well, anyway, that's all I want to say. Uh, I don't know. You, you tell me what you think. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.